If you love the great outdoors, Esperance has it all. In fact, tourism is one of the district's three major industries. The other two are fishing, understandable, and agriculture. And while it's pretty simple to cast a line out of here, most people who visit Esperance never get to step foot on a farm. But I mean, unless you know a farmer, it's not exactly that easy. So let me introduce you to Farmer Andrew. Forget stock standard cuddly animals and pictures with canola, although there are a lot of both around. At Oak Marsh Farm, the experience is bigger. While Farmer Andrew is out on the front line, his better half Renee is designated agricultural tour guide. Esperance Farm experience is about showing people about agriculture, so I'd love to share with the world the purpose of farming, the craft of farming and the lifestyle of farming. Safety on farms is really important. We hate it when people just walk onto farms, random people that can bring diseases to our crops, to our animals. And also, occupational health and safety on the farm is really important. So um, today I'll be getting you to put on some high-vis vests. All right, so time to go and have a look around. Let's get up and have, <laughs> have a look. We're in Andrew's toy sheds, plural, because he has lots of different machines all needed and necessary on a farm. Right now, we're looking at our boom spray, which is kind of like a great big praying mantis, so the wings kind of come out and um, the inoculant and sprays are, are spread out through these jets. Along with the toy shed, there's the shearing shed. And we are going in the same way the sheep do. No haircut, though. Instead, a traditional yet healthy version of shearer's smoko. Zucchini, date, walnut and pineapple muffins. I actually used to be a rustabout in a former life and let me tell you, this part of the day, afternoon tea, my favourite. I'd actually come on this tour just for these. And once we've finished off that muffin, we're off to meet the locals. It's not just the visitors that get well fed around here. So Chrissy, this is Brandon the Bull, who's our, our beautiful Gelfi crosser at Angus. This is hay that we're pasture hay that we're feeding Brandon at the moment. He eats um, a lot. <laughs> he does eat a lot. We also feed uh, silage, which is hay that's cut and pickled yeah. and lasts for all year long, can last up to 10 years. But one of the other items we have on the farm, which is pretty unique, is tree tagasasti, which was tree lucerne, if you like. And the cows live in the rows of tagasasti. Oh. It's green all year round, really palatable, nitrogen fixing, really good for soil and the growth of other plants underneath it as well. And finally, we get to meet the big man himself in person. Farmer Andrew climbing down from one of his big toys and he spins a pretty big yarn. What sort of people come out of here and do you interact with? Oh, uh, look, we get all age groups. I had a, um, an ex-farmer from the UK out here the other day, 89, and he was in the tractor with me and just loved it, seeing the new technology. And they just love asking questions. You know, we get all age groups, but they just want to know what's going on. They've never seen this sort of gear. They've never been on farms before, and they just want to know what's happening. And uh, it's just an opportunity to, to tell them a bit about, about what we're doing here. And as we head out for a spin, you realise why visitors are raving about this tour. The Oak Marsh Farm experience is exactly that. Love it.